At the end of 2022, I began to hear rumors that Austin Butler might star in Michael Mann's Heat sequel as Val Kilmer, but I dismissed the rumors as something that might have been started by his fans. I'm beginning to wonder if it's true. Butler appeared as a guest on the most recent episode of Mark Maron's well-known WTF podcast. That could be an indication that Mann met with him for the Kilmer role in Heat 2, but as previously stated, it is just a rumor for the time being. He talks about recently seeing Heat again and putting Man's Thief on his list of movies to watch. The youthful Kilmer and the current butler bear striking resemblances. And makes sense that people would consider him the ideal choice for the role. If it hasn't already, casting for the movie should begin soon. Last summer, I reported that Heat 2 was in a bidding war. It is abundantly clear that executives are eager to acquire this prized asset. The gist of this studio battle was securing the rights to Mann's recently published novel, which is a continuation of the saga that began with Heat, and we are now witnessing the extent of that fan base. Mann confirmed in an interview that he is working on turning his novel into a movie, adding that he wasn't worried about finding financing for the project, mainly due to the film's already large fan base. The setting takes place both before and after the original, in the same vein as in The Godfather Part 2. The majority of the focus is on Hannah and Chris Shirelis, the character played by Val Kilmer in the film. It is known. I could fool myself into thinking that everyone knows about it, but when you consider that it has been prominent in home video for more than two decades, this thing really does have legs. It is still being watched and discussed by individuals. It's an image. In some ways, it resembles the universe of heat. It helps that one of the most well-known directors in the world bows down to the church of heat, which certainly justifies a very large and ambitious movie. The film has always been cited as one of Christopher Nolan's main influences. Nolan even held a Tribeca Q and a With Man, Robert De Niro, and Al Pacino last year. Man got done with shooting Ferrari last year, his most memorable film in more than seven years. That one probably gets a big premiere in September at the Venice Film Festival. Currently, the $90 million Ferrari is still being looked at for distribution in the United States. Man's impending epic was initially created by STX Diversion, which failed while recording was taking place. As indicated by a new report from Assortment, Ferrari was gotten by Skyfilm for a UK discharge in the not-so-distant future. So, at least that's something. Aside from that, Noah's distributor has yet to consider purchasing Man's passion project.